All right, Winslow. So I'm pretty sure that this is what's happening. It's hard to tell because unless I have the file in front of me and I'm interacting with it in some way, um, I don't know uh, what's happening. You know, I, I can't I can't see it, so I don't know. Um, so anyway, this is what I believe is happening. I think what happened was this. I think that you okay. I think that you accidentally keyed on your camera and not on your controller. So uh, in order to select the camera, which you see how it says perspective, that's because that's the camera we're currently looking through. If you click on this up here, right underneath view, that actually selects the camera. And you can see, I'll put it in channel box. You can see it says perspective, okay? So if I were actually to go into, let's say I do panels perspective, I make a new one. Um, and um, uh, let's say I select this camera again, okay? You can actually see, I mean, it's not showing up here, but this is actually the camera. Like, watch, you'll see if I move that, it moves this, okay? So what you're looking through is actually just a camera, all right? So it's an object itself. So I think what happened was this. I think that you somehow clicked on it or selected it in some way. And then what you did is that you had hit S, which is key, which does this. And you might have even clicked off and didn't realize it. And it was like over here. And then you like moved forward. And if you have auto key on, which is this, that's off. This is on. If you have that on, what will now happen is that now when you go to play this, it's going to play that animation. Because what you did is you actually keyed. Because you keyed one, and then when you moved the camera, it auto keyed that for you. So every time I do anything now, it's going to set that auto key. So I have these keys going on. So if you want to remove those keys from the camera, what you want to do is click on the camera, and then you can kind of click and drag across. Just click on the first one, click and drag down while holding down, and then right click, and then just go break connections, and that will get rid of the keys. And then you can move around, and you'll see if I scrub that it doesn't do that. Okay. Now, what you need to do is the opposite with your thing. So let's say this is like the building and this is your guy. You just need to animate this moving forward. So you got to have it selected. You just hit S to key. Uh, go, let's say, 24 frames. So it's one second. I'll say W for the move tool, and I'll just move it forward. And you can see there it is. And when it goes like this, it'll move forward. Okay. And then I would just put the next position, let's say, at 48. So it's after two seconds. Go down like that. And then that's where that will go. Okay. Now, what you might want to do, because you can see it doesn't always act the way you think it's going to. Is you might want to do this. You might want to go to like 24, um, move it up and over, and then hit S. And that will just make sure it keeps everything. Then I'll go to 48, and then I'll go down and over this way. And then if I hit S, it'll just make sure it keeps everything. So it goes directly there and then directly there. Okay. But you have to hit, you have to move that object and then hit key, move that object, then hit key. And you have to do that for each sub object. So like your thing has legs. So for each leg, that they're going to be separate objects. They're not going to show up here. Right, because if I have this selected, you can see this doesn't show up. It only shows the keys of the object you have selected. Okay, so that's basically uh, what you need to do.